It's a beautiful day today, isn't it? Boy, it's really coming down. Looks like we're in for some snow. Americans love to comment on the weather. Since this is such a common topic and a great way to start a conversation with anyone, I want to teach you all you need to know about small talk and the weather. Whether it's good or bad, talking about the weather is always a safe way to get most people talking. And if there's been a recent change, you're sure to hear even more weather talk. I currently live in Seattle, Washington, where the weather can be quite variable. Seattle is famous for its rain. In spite of the never-ending rain, or maybe because of it, Seattle is gorgeous and its climate is very mild. It usually doesn't get too hot or too cold. And really, it doesn't always rain here either. The sun sometimes comes out, and once in a while it will snow or get hot or cold. Where are you in the world and what's the weather like where you live? Please let me know in the comments section below. Do you like my videos and want to receive free tips and information by email on how to improve your spoken English? If so, please join my mailing list. You'll find the link in the comments section below. Help me continue providing free lessons by liking and sharing my videos. I really appreciate it. And now back to our lesson. I want to walk you through common weather expressions and how to reply to them. Listen carefully to how I say each phrase. Pay close attention to the words I emphasize, stressing the correct parts of words and the correct words in sentences is extremely important in speaking understandable English. In addition, take note of how I connect my words. Your speech will be smooth and fluent when you master our typical reductions and word linking. Use me as your model. Try to repeat exactly as I say it, or better yet, say the sentence along with me, matching my timing. You'll probably need to do it over and over again to really get it right. Now let's start talking about Good weather. It's a beautiful day today, isn't it? It is. It sure is. Did you notice the emotion in my voice? My voice is not flat and monotone. I didn't say it's a beautiful day today, isn't it? I added some up tones in there to signify that I'm open and friendly and maybe a little excited about what I'm talking about. Let's try it again. Make sure to put emotion in your voice. Go up in pitch. Don't make your tone flat. It's a beautiful day today, isn't it? It is. It sure is. Now wasn't that better? It sounds much more interesting than just saying it in a monotone, flat way. All right, let's try another way of commenting on the good weather. What a gorgeous week it's been. Now the word gorgeous means very beautiful and it's a very, very common word in spoken English. We use this one a lot. So make sure it's one that you include in your speech as well. Pronounce it like this. Gorgeous. What a gorgeous week it's been. Yeah, it has. I'm loving it.
Hope it stays like this. Are you enjoying this wonderful weather we're having? I sure am. I'm going to take a nice long walk in the sunshine. Don't let your eyes fool you here. Make sure you say gonna instead of going to. Notice how I say it. I sure am. I'm going to take a nice long walk in the sunshine. Yeah, I am. I just wish I didn't have to work. Here's another reduction. Have to should sound like have to. Yeah, I am. I just wish I didn't have to work. Let's move on to talking about rainy weather, which is very appropriate since it's very rainy where I live. Boy, it's really been rainy this week. Yeah, it has. I wish it would stop. It sure has. I can't wait for summer. Are you still remembering to put some emotion in your speech? Again, make sure you are going up to sound more friendly, more interested, and more excited about the topic. Your pitch should be rising. I can't wait for summer. Is it still raining out there? Yeah, it's really coming down. Coming down is an expression meaning that it's raining very hard. Yeah, but it's just a drizzle. And a drizzle is just very light rain. No, it finally stopped. Let's move on and talk about winter weather. Brr, it sure is cold out today. It is. I hope it warms up soon. Yeah. And the forecast is predicting even colder temperatures, too. Watch out for the word temperature. It only has three syllables. Temp, a, uh, chur. There is a silent middle syllable. The ER in the middle is silent. So again, repeat with me. Temp. Temperature. Temperature. Yeah, and the forecast is predicting even colder temperatures, too. Looks like we're in for some snow. And as you can probably guess from the context here, we're in for, meaning we are expecting or something will be happening. Looks like we're in for some snow. I guess so. I'm not looking forward to that.
That's great. It's so beautiful when it snows. It's been a long winter. I'm really looking forward to spring. Have you been noticing which words I'm emphasizing? Did you notice how long I held the word long? It's been a long winter. When we really want to emphasize something, we make it longer in English. Let's try that again. It's been a long winter. I'm really looking forward to spring. Me too. I'm ready for some sun. Now there are endless things you can say about the weather. This is just a small sample of things you may hear. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, you might like to join my mailing list to receive regular emails from me about topics relating to speaking clear and confident English. You'll find the link in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Help me continue providing free lessons by liking and sharing my videos with others. Thanks and see you again soon.